Hey y'all, it's David Ducker coming back at you, and today I'm going to be doing a campaign pitch. Uh, some people uh, ask me, how do I set up my games? I've done a video uh, called Setting Expectations about uh, how to do this, but I thought I'd provide an example of my technique. Now my pitch is going to differ from yours. Everyone does things differently. This is one of those things where there's no right way to do it. So this is uh, basically the campaign we're playing right now, but I'm just going to go through and show you how I pitched it to the players uh, so they were excited and knew what I was talking about at the same time. So this next campaign, it's going to be a space western it's going to be on the new frontier, whereas the uh, Old West is in a desert, and it's uh, escaping, uh, you know, progress, which is not actually good progress. It's escaping the Industrial Revolution, the poverty, the slavery, the uh, wage slavery. It's going somewhere where you get your parcel of land to make something of yourself. It's the American dream that as hard as you want to work, that's as successful as you can be. It's no one holding you down and holding you back. That's the Old West. That's what we're going to do in Blue Planet. It's not a desert, though. It is an ocean. Uh, there is land on this planet, uh, but it's in the form of archipelagos, chains of islands. Only about 5% of the planet's surface is land. But it is a new land. It's somewhere that you can escape the dystopia of this space opera setting. Because in this setting, uh, society has come back under those pressures. There's uh, you know, unemployment, there's poverty, there's corrupt politicians. There are mega corporations dictating things down to you. There's kind of a welfare state going on. No one has a job. Everyone's unhappy. It's, uh, you know, it's the Blade Runner city where it's raining all the time. A robot took your job. And there's drug use rampant. There are uh, psychics running around messing with people's minds. So that is the, the world that we want to escape I want to go to the new frontier, to this ocean planet that's clean, the air is fresh. You can start over. You can start again in the off-world colonies. So that's like the basic narrative. So we're going to take those first uh, five or ten sessions and show you the dystopia. And we're going to start off on, on uh, probably old Earth. And it's going to be a horrible place with acid rain and corrupt police, uh, lying politicians, big corporations. Nobody ha has a job. Gangs are running the streets. So we'll show you how bad it is. And that first story arc is going to be you escaping. We're going to go through some space adventures, you know, Firefly style, small ship uh, small problems, but big problems to you. And then finally, we're going to arrive. Uh, so we'll take like five sessions in space there. And finally, we're going to arrive around session. Uh, depending on our speed, it could be session five. Or it could be session ten. We're going to arrive on Blue Planet and start putting down roots. And we're going to start dealing with frontier problems, with wild animals, with hostile natives with other colonists and where the old west had the rail barons coming in trying to civilize the frontier we are going to have some megacorps coming in trying to build a hypergate trying to build industry on this planet and we're going to deal with the native reaction and the settlers and their reaction to this and uh, that's going to be out in the wild west so we're going to have the, the bandits the frontier spirit, um, and that's going to be you know the remaining uh, 10 to 20 sessions of the campaign. So total length is going to run from uh, you know 
from 15 up to 30 sessions. That, that's going to be my guess for the for the full campaign. So let, let's say half of, half of one year, if we can get together every single week like I want to. So that's that's my pitch for the story for the setting. Uh, now the team, uh, we've got you know several options, and I'll discuss this with the players. But uh, you know my number one pick was let's be people who can't legally emigrate. Let's be people who have to get smuggled to Poseidon. And we've all come through to the same kind of shady smuggler group, these criminals. Uh, for help in escaping the mega city, so that that was my my pitch as GM, uh, and of course we could have gone any number of ways. Could have been a religious colony, farmers, settlers, scientists. Uh, could have been the military there to police the frontier. We could have been, uh, you know, any number of things as a group. As long as we were a group, it's all good. But we decided the only real bond we'd have would be we all need to get smuggled out. So that gets us together dealing with these criminals. They're going to, you know, we're going to have to do a couple of uh, uh, adventures to get this set up properly. Out in space, we're all on the same ship. So that's going to keep us together through that. And once we get there, uh, our goal is to have bonded the team to such a point that they don't split once we get on the planet. And of course, you know, if you do split, if your character dies, we can bring in a new character at any time, whenever it's fun for you, whenever you're concerned you might permanently split, or whenever you're dead. So basically that was my, my pitch for Blue Planet. Um, and you know, in more detail, you know, I could say we're gonna deal with uh, one mega corporation that has biotech, so cloning, uh, terraforming, uh, learning about the native wildlife. Uh, then we're going to have another corporation that has uh, robots, cyborgs, heavy industry, building factories, building the hypergate, um, potential AI research. Uh, then, of course, we have the government, who out on the frontier is going to kind of be, uh, you know, military. They're going to be very military. So space marines, marshals, judges, that kind of thing. Really, uh, you know, starship trooper style guys. Uh, and then we'll have the Psy Corps, the, the legal arm of uh, psychic powers, policing your thoughts and minds, policing other people who have psychic powers. And, uh, you know, those are going to be like our four big factions. Uh, Plus, as smaller factions, the settlers and the, the natives. The natives are humans who went to Poseidon a thousand years ago, were abandoned. And through genetic manipulation, uh, they've, they have gills, they can, breathe, they can drink salt water, they have webbed uh, hands and feet. So they're very well adapted to living there. They've kind of dropped back into the Stone Age. So... Uh, all of their original tools they've kind of lost because they just didn't get enough time to put down those deep roots and everything kind of fell apart post-apocalyptic style. They've been living for a thousand years as Stone Age tribes of, uh, you know, gill people, if you want to call them that. So those are, those are going to be our main factions. Um, and then, of course, like bandits, you know, the banditos, the space pirates, the smugglers. You know that that'll be its own little group as well. So that that kind of gives my players an idea of our timeline, of uh, what we're going to explore, who they're going to meet, the kind of adventures that they're going to have, so they can build a character who will fit in, and so they can build a team that sticks together and a team that explores that story. Uh, so that's my campaign pitch for Blue Planet. Uh, before they start asking questions and giving advice and opinions. And I'm always happy for that, and we can modify things from there. But uh, I just want to share how I approach that pitch. So that's basically what I say to them. Um, so usually I'd ask for like feedback, uh, how do you do things? 
I don't know if that's a great format. Uh, if you have a, a good way of saying it, I'd love to hear it. Uh, but let me ask you, would you play in this campaign? Did I pitch it in such a way that it sounds exciting and interesting? Does it sound like I know what I'm doing and uh, it's not going to fizzle out? So I just wanted to share that until I see you again. Good day and good gaming.